The Sam Simon Foundation is located in Malibu, California. It was founded in 2003 by Sam Simon, one of the co-creators of The Simpsons. Its flagship program is to rescue dogs and train them to be assistance dogs for the deaf and hard of hearing. When I meet deaf people, most of them love dogs. Some people don't understand it's a working dog. So I explain to them it's not a pet. It's different. We work the same like a seeing eye dog that assists someone blind. Where a hearing dog helps me because I'm deaf. Didn't start losing my hearing till my late 20s. I didn't wear hearing aids till I was 30. Without my hearing aids, I don't hear my own voice. It's when you can't hear, even with an implant or a hearing aid, you can't hear that far. If someone is behind you, walking behind you, you have no idea. And the dog does know. She turns around and looks. I know when people are around. And I feel safe when I know when people are around. We wanted a dog for James, and we got Chelsea. <laughs> She's adorable. She's just adorable. She's helped us a lot. Because when I'm home alone, if she hears <laughs> the squirrel. <laughs> wow. If she hears something like the doorbell, then she will run to the door, and I know if somebody's there. Also, if somebody knocks and things like that. When James was younger, he always had um, good friends at school and was popular, but in the neighborhood, um, the kids never really came over. I think they might have been a little put off by the fact that he was deaf, but now they know he's just a typical kid, and that's because of Chelsea. She made him more typical. Dogs spend an average of six months in training, learning to physically alert their owner to common household sounds, such as a telephone or a doorbell. There are three live-in trainers and two training assistants to provide constant care so that every dog enjoys a cage-free living environment. All of the dogs in our program are rescues from local animal shelters. We're looking for dogs that are between about 10 months and three years old. No breed that's known to be uh, aggressive. I will look for a dog that's kind of soliciting attention from me. They'll show a circular tail where their tail's just going round and round. You got adopted, you got adopted. I have the perfect dog for you. Oh, great. He just came in, How he's about you? two years old. He's Buddy. a real good dog, he just needs some training. It's beautiful. Yes. Isn't he? Thank and I you. like I like his confidence. He seems outgoing. He doesn't seem to ever meet a stranger. Do you need something to do with all that energy, buddy? Yeah. Well, we've got a job for you. Do you want it? <laughs> Most likely he would it? get adopted, but if not, unfortunately, he would be euthanized. Is that another dog? Is that another dog? All right. Yay, you got a job. Yay, you're gonna come with us. Next, they head straight to the local veterinarian. When a dog has been deemed healthy, he's brought back to the foundation and introduced to the other dogs and staff. Come on, buddy. Let's go meet your new friend. Come meet Trio. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. You're okay. See? Yeah. Everybody loves everybody here, huh? Big and little. Doesn't matter. Now let's go up the hill. Come on. So the dogs have three acres fenced, securely fenced up here to play in. It's like a little dog park in our own backyard. So he'll be able to release a lot of that energy just naturally, the way a dog is supposed to. It's a much bigger backyard, huh, buddy? And then he's going to be trained. He's going to have a job. He's going to have something that he can mentally focus on so he can channel all of that energy into something productive and be a good dog instead of before he was considered a bad dog. We have to work on house manners because he lives with me in my house with my other dogs. Sounds happen all the time so they have to have that energy and that desire and that little bit of pushiness without being too pushy so that they can say stop what you're doing 
someone's at the door. Instead of waiting for commands all the time, our dogs have to be a little on the assertive side. So, What I first want to do with a new dog is teach them that there's something called communicating. A lot of dogs don't know that humans can talk to them or that they can communicate back with a human. So what I'm going to try to do is get him to learn that there's a treat in my hand and if he uses his foot to touch my hand, the hand will open and he'll get the treat. Down. And usually they try with their mouth for a while and when that doesn't work, they'll try something else. And Sometimes I have to give him the reward just so he knows that perseverance gets rewarded. Good boy! And I'm gonna end on that. You're gonna be a good boy. Yes, yeah, someday. Someday. <laughs>